Hello, I'm Jonathan Fowler. I'm with Alpha Laser US. I'm here in Meadville, Pennsylvania at Phoenix Laser Solutions filming our first US-based episode of Alpha Welder. Uh, we're here in Phoenix Laser Solutions. As I mentioned, we're going to look at an AL Flak 1200 fiber. Stationary system. It does not have the tracks like the system you see on the wall here. Uh, everything can be brought to this machine via crane in this shop, so there's no need for the tracks. We're going to be doing a bull gear shaft repair for a turbine customer. So my colleague Alex Hilliard is going to be operating our AL Flak 1200 laser welder today. We're going to be doing a bull gear shaft repair for a turbine customer. This is how the part comes to our shop from the customer. Now Jonathan, yes. as you can see why we have it up in the air here, we prefer our customers to take about 10 thou off per side. That way it gives us a nice bond to the existing material and that's a lot less you a lot less than you would have to remove from conventional welding techniques so most of our customers only have to remove 10 to 15 thousandths per side whereas you would have to use a lot larger you would have to machine off a lot larger area of the diameter to weld it conventionally with tig or mig versus laser welding so you save a lot of time because you don't have to build up all the material that you machined off and you're machining off that material to, to get to a good base material to weld from. Yep, correct. So we're going to be welding a 4340 shaft. We're going to be using ER120S material as our filler wire. Uh, we're doing a buildup of this shaft, uh, 20 thousandths diameter buildup, so that's 10 thousandths per side of the shaft. We're going to be using 25 thousandths diameter welding wire. We're using our Alpha Laser wire feeder, the ALDV. It's a new style we just got a couple years back. All of our customers seem to really enjoy it. It also has a handheld option where you can use the wire feeder by hand versus on the machine as you see here. This is a really flexible wire feeder unit. You can basically lock this arm into any position achieving any angle you want to feed wire. It's very useful. It's great for OD shaft repair. Anything that's outside diameter. You also have the ability to do inside diameter welding. You're just limited to how deep you can fit the wire feeder inside the internal diameter. Alex is putting on our spool of wire here. Yep. And you can use standard size wire. We use mostly 15 thousandths and above. Um, we don't specialize in putting the most material down as fast as possible. Usually when people use alpha laser, it's to weld heat sensitive parts they can't afford to scrap. And they don't always need the largest buildups. So for instance, if you were conventionally welding this shaft, you'd have to remove around 250 thousandths of material before you could TIG weld it. So you have to add a lot of material that you're going to have to machine off again. With laser welding, you can machine off much less, much less, and you don't have to build up as much to get the desired diameter. All right, now that we have the shaft fixtured in our rotation device, Alex is going to set up the wire feeder to get the, the direction of wire feed that he needs to do the job. So we're just going to bring her down here. Get her in focus. So the movement of the head's controlled with the joystick. You have 16 inches of travel in the X and Y direction on our machine. He can also control the Z direction or the Z axis up and down with that joystick. You also can control the rotator with the joystick. So he has a rocker switch where he can make it rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. However, the machine also has uh, the ability to teach so you can run a program on the shaft or you can turn on the automatic wire feed, or we call it semi-automatic mode. So when he steps on the foot pedal to fire the laser, it will automatically rotate the part as well. And you can adjust that speed to get the right feed speed. So here he's adjusting the argon shielding gas. 
so it covers the entire welding area so he doesn't get any oxidation or contamination in his weld. With the ALDV, it has a very precise feeding head so you can really adjust it to get the, the precise angle and direction you need. So Alex just turned on our fume extractor to pull the welding smoke away from his face when he's welding, that's very important. The other important thing when you're laser welding is you always want to make sure you're wearing laser safety glasses, uh, both the operator and anyone in the surrounding area. The laser has protection built into it, but just as an extra precaution, the operator should wear these as well. All right, so this bull gear shaft repair is a perfect application for laser welding, and I'll tell you why. So this is a two and a half inch diameter shaft. If you tried to weld that with a TIG or MIG welder, you got a lot better chance of distorting or warping that shaft. With laser welding and the pulsing, we're putting so much less heat into it than conventional welding, you don't have to worry about that if it's done correctly. You're also able to avoid the post-weld heat treat of conventional TIG and MIG welding. All right, glasses on? Glasses are on. Always make sure you wear a laser eye protector. And so you can see here, he's got a good pulse. We have a good circular puddle. It's uniform and consistent. We can see the wire feeder adding here. As long as that wire feeder stays relatively in the middle of that pulse, we're in good shape. And you can tell from watching the video, he has a good pulse with good gas coverage. It has a shiny weld. If it was black or sooty, you would know you don't have good shielding gas coverage. So it's, it's critical you pay attention to what's on the screen. If something's wrong, you can stop the, the machine from operating and correct the issue. We're finished with this job. Alex has welded it now. We added 20 thousandths to this diameter. He's going to lift up the machine, check the weld to make sure we have enough buildup with a micrometer. Good. And it looks like we're about 20, 25 thou over. So we got a little bit extra on there, a little machine stock. So when they take this and grind it, they'll have plenty of material to get to their desired diameter. Now he's gonna break it down, pack it back up to ship it out. Thanks for joining us on the first episode of Alpha Welder here in the US and the bull gear repair video we just showed you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us next time for another application. <laughs>